Hello guys, I'm Draco and welcome to DracoS. Let's play some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds with Dino Tamer Brand because he is returning. And by the way, Arana Starseeker has been buffed. So after you refresh five times right, uh, Bob will always have uh, seven minions in his tavern. So uh, let's play this game. We have got some exciting news. New expa expansion is coming to Battlegrounds and I'm really, really excited for that, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Your support is very, very valuable to me. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And please do help me reach my sub goal of 100 subscribers. It would really, really be helpful. First thing I want to say. Who does got a nerf? I don't know what they were like going to do. But they did pretty good job. Yeah, remove a friendly minion, okay? But get a random minion from a lower tier. So you cannot just spam those triples. You cannot. So you have to be insanely lucky to get those triples in. So I think I think uh, it's it's good enough. So okay, let's discuss about the heroes. The hero here is um, Dynomancer Brand, already known as uh, Brand Bronzebeard. Yeah, he got a remodel. So uh, refresh Bob's tavern with battle crime minions. It's I think this is a powerful. Uh, Powerful hero power because battle cries there are a lot of battle cries that literally gives stats So if you're going for a menagerie build and at tier 4 you roll Okay, and you get three menagerie magicians. That's possible by the way. That's insane luck You would be really really like I think you would be in a really really good spot So okay two we are getting a new hero Tess and Tess was already then game, right? But uh, he wasn't that strong. But now he got a big boost. He got a big rework. And you know what that is? Yeah, it refreshes the Bob's Tavern with minions from your lost opponent's warband. So if you're going Murlocs, your opponent is also going Murlocs. Hit his hero power, which is one gold. You find Murlocs triple the stuff. And I think you're gonna do wonderful. So I want to do something like this, actually. Mm, yeah, sell that. Buy that for gold. Gold is really, really good. Okay, so uh, I think Tess is kind of broken if you and your opponent is actually kind of pushing the same build, which often tends to happen in battlegrounds. You go dragons, your opponent also goes dragons. So uh, you hero power, you might hit some pretty good dragons into Caligos, which is nice. So next hero. We are getting King Mukla back and he he is getting a rework as well. So usually first up, oh, 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 he's a tier one. I'm pretty sure about that. Five. That's four damage for me, right? Five. Oh my God. That's five damage. For me. Okay. So uh, King Mukla. Uh, initially, he used to get just two bananas, which give plus one, plus one in stats. Okay. But now... He is getting... Uh, this is so bad. Okay, I'll just buy these. Like, yeah, those guys. That's it. So, let me get back to this. Yeah, get two bananas, okay? That give plus one, plus one. And uh, whenever you use his hero power, at the end of your turn, give everyone else... One banana. I think so. I think that's how it is because uh, I'm not really clear from the patch note on Till I play him actually. Okay. Now those are the heroes and uh, Yeah, the rework I have discussed and now new minions have been added new minions Have been added to the battlegrounds. It's a tier 6 minion. Okay, which is exclusive for menagerie build hmm, Nice nice trades which is exclusive for menagerable it's amalgadon okay it's amalgadon a 6-6 six, six for each different minion type you have adapt randomly which is insane for uh, it's an all type minion so you can give it divine shield you can give it poison you can give it taunt but the catch is um 
I do have a beast and a murloc, so I'm gonna do this for now. Yeah, the catch is it's a tier 6 minion and battle cry is it adapts randomly for each minion type you have so if you're going for a menagerie build and if you find this guy and if you play this guy and by luck you hit divine shield poisonous i think that's like kind of that's kind of really good and once again beasts tend to rule battlegrounds too much that they are getting nerfed yeah Goldrin is moving from tier 5 to tier 6. So the only archetype in the game to have 4 tier 6 minions, okay? Oh my... F Whoa. Okay. To have tier 6 minion is... Um, holy sh... Wow. Okay. Is... Uh, beasts. Because... Uh, how much is that? Like, they have gas color, they are getting golden mama bear, and something else. Okay, this is good. And yeah, now let me reroll, see what I get. Hmm. I kinda actually like, like, mm, like this one. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna push for the menagerie build. Wow, this is good. I think I'm gonna freeze for it. Yeah. Or, nah, 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 nah. Freezing is bad. So, I'm gonna do this. Nice. Okay. That's a beast. That's a murloc and that's a dragon. And by the way, pirates are not guaranteed to be in the uh, pool. Yeah. Uh, so, that's also an update. And in uh, normal standard, we are getting like no zero mana cards, no value and stuff like that. And now uh, we are getting the newest expansion for Battleground. Sorry, for Hearthstone. That's Scholarman's Academy. And most people have made a video on that. So check it out. It's, it's kind of like really good. So I would suggest you guys to check it out and... Uh, so that's it for the battlegrounds patch i hope you guys got a gist of what's happening i think uh it, it was too op some cards were too op that uh, they needed a nerf pretty bad and uh, i don't think moving golden from tier 5 to tier 6 i think it makes the build really unplayable because the power spike right that uh, most people want is usually from uh, mm, how do i say okay that's a triple let's go <laughs> wow if i hit a light fang that's a big deal because there are no mechs okay and this guy is a mech so a light fang would be insane actually i'll take a bran hell yes okay so uh Beasts, I think they are in a really, really bad spot. Just because of the fact that... How can I say? Uh, it's already okay. Beasts, if you need to win with Beast, you need to hit Goldrin and uh, Baron combo with any Beast. That was how the game was. And at one point, it was like you have to hit a triple at tier 5 to hit a Mama Bear into token build i think from this change token build are about to like they're gonna come back as well nice hmm. good he's not getting a pran oh okay i thought he was a uh, yog for a second i don't know why nice hmm. nice pretty good Hmm. Ooh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit, actually. Okay. So, um, this guy's pretty cool, actually. I like him. I, I kind of like him. Okay, um, wait a minute. First off, yeah, do that. 
Now do this. Hero power. See what you get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh. That's like... <laughs> Okay, I'm not like uh, that impressed with this as well. So I'm gonna reroll again for nothing good. Hmm. That's okay. I like this. I'll, I'll, I I kind of love this. So I'm gonna freeze for it. Or do I like? He's playing Keltas with beasts. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! That's sad. Because beasts, they're not doing that good right now. Okay, let's see what kind of beast build he has. Okay. Uh, that was that was the best trade for him. I, I think so. I think that was the best trade for him. And uh, it's, it's kind of okay. Yeah. Nice. That, that changes. Hmm. I think we can win this actually. It's it's well within the win range if I just snipe his cannon. If I don't snipe his cannon, then uh, I just lose this right. Yeah. Okay, it's a win. I'll take that. No problem. So I was concentrating on like explaining this stuff to you guys so that I just lost. So. Oh. Shit. This guy is kind of OP. He had so many, okay? Like, so, so many if, uh... Huh. Let me do that, okay? And, uh, I want to, like, taunt these two. Yeah, let me do this. So, first off, I need this for sure. I need this for sure. So, uh, let me do this, yeah. Do I poison or do I go for the stats over the poison? Or do I go? Uh, I think I'll go for poison. It's it's kind of good for me. Do that. Yeah, do this. Uh, let me reroll. See if I could hit something that's pretty. Um, no, no, no. Okay, so something like this. I think I think I'm strong enough actually with this menagerie build. For for the time being, I think this is like kind of insane. I think I have to hit an uh, Amalgadon, probably. You're doing great out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think I'm strong enough. Nice. There's no way he's winning actually, except for the f except if he hits uh, with uh, some crazy stuff with his boat, he's not winning this. Good thing, like really good thing that he's not Pagel, okay? His not Pagel is not summoning some crazy stuff. And by the way, uh, with Minaji build, I think I would I would like. Oh uh, yeah, Hooktas got nerfed by. He got nerfed pretty hard. Yes. That's nice. Uh, and that's nice as well. So first off, yeah, do that. Hmm. Probably sell this here, play this. So buy that. Yeah. Play this onto this guy. Nice. Buy this. Yeah. Mm, play this onto this guy, yeah, pretty good. Double up, okay, yes. Uh, Reroll to see, uh, it's it's good, but next turn I think I'm gonna tear up and I get battle cries all the time, so I don't have to worry about it. And I think this is, I think this is kind of really good. What's he playing? Is he's, he's playing pirates, and I have a like a poisonous dude. I think that's like good and I have some pretty good stats. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have scaled up like crazy. Oh, he dealt 24 damage to Hooktas. Uh, that's kind of scary. What was he? Oh, he was a 23 and he got OTK'd. Hmm. You're doing great out there. 
My, my. I'm really excited for this patch. Like, genuinely. Ah, oh, yeah. He's, he's kind of dead. Thank you. Thank you for that. This snipe. A uh, close snipe. I think I have enough stats, actually. Oh, yes. I, I do have enough stats. Oh, oh holy shit. That's nice, and Brand surviving is a lot of damage. Okay, close to top 4 actually. Oh yes, so now I tear up, and I reroll for some battle cries. That's a good one. I think what I'm gonna do is, yes, sell that. Um, probably have this actually. Do that and do this. And let me reroll see. Oh, 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 oh. Go big or go home. Whoa. Okay. I think this is good enough. I think you can win this thing. Oh, yes. Okay, this is a win. Guaranteed win. Ooh. Okay, what what's like other people playing? What are they playing actually? So the farm will oh the farm is playing Murloc. So if I face off against this guy, I think I die. Next this guy beasts, I'm not that scared. Dragons not scared, pirates not scared. Like genuinely speaking, mm, I am scared of the farm. So if I face off against the farm and uh, lose, I think I'm gonna be really salty. Just oh the farm is dead. Really? For real? Like, oh my god. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Nah, nah. I think first off, yeah, do that. And buy this. A good tactical choice. Sell that. Yeah. Do this. Uh, reroll. A gold grabber? Not really. Not really. Yeah, I think this is good enough actually. Like he's he's playing dragons. Oh, I think I wanna do something that's like this actually. I want my big hitters in front and I want these guys to tank most of my uh what is that? Most of his token uh hits. And if he dealt 20 damage to Keltas Aha he must have a Caligos and must have like scaled up pretty hard and he had five triples but I'm pretty sure he just tripled once or twice uh, with his minions because um, he already had three golden minion when I saw him like at uh, when I phased off against him at tier 4 hmm okay so um, I think I build a pretty scary build actually Menagerie is insane oh he is dead Oh, he's so solid dead. If, if my Light Fang or Brand survives, then uh, th yeah, I think he's dead. So, cause that's five, five, five. That's fifteen. I'm five twenty. He's dead. I'm sorry, but uh, and I don't think pirates do that good versus big stats. I don't think so. Yeah. So see you, Tara. So that's for the um. That's for revenge, I would say. And I don't think pirates are that, like, I don't know. Hmm. Mm, not really looking good. I want to triple one of these. So uh, hit that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm loving this one. I think I'm going to sell the light fang. Do that. Yeah, do this. I'm okay with this. Sell that, yeah, probably hit me up with, uh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, a Here's your reward. Okay, give me Amalgadon, right? That's what it's, come on, come on. 
Oh no, Malkadon. Why, 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 why would you do that? Shiz, dude. That's stats, but no. I think I'm gonna do something like this. Oh, okay, okay. That's double battle cries, which actually like gives me. Huh, yeah, I think these three battle cries they are really good. I think so. Yeah. So that's a freeze because that gives like plus four plus four to my demons and oh yeah, I'm liking this. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's. Oh yes, this is the this is the minion actually. Adapt for each friendly minion that you have, uh, which is which is kind of like really really insane. Oh. Yeah, he lost this. Sorry. Okay, GG. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Your support is very, very valuable to me, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please do help me reach my sub goal of 100 subscribers. And by the way, I think Bran is the new king of menagerie just because of the fact that his hero power can literally fill your board with battle cries. So, see you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off, Dracoverse.